Hi everyone. So in this session we are moving on to the next chapter that is pair of linear equation in two variables. This is third lesson in your part one textbook. So let's start with introduction. So now before starting to the pair of linear equation, the name itself says that pair of linear equation in two variables. Okay. Before starting to the concept so let us understand some basic concepts and this lesson is particularly it is related to algebra that is especially though it is related to the expressions algebraic expressions so let us recall once and then we'll move on to the concept so first observe the equation which i have taken that is 3x plus 5 is equal to 20 the equation which is here 3x plus 5 is equal to 20 observe here so here we have equation why we are calling it as equation we have equal symbol observe so anything if you are equating to the number or if you are equating to anything so if it is equal so definitely it is a equation so we are calling it as equation so now here let us observe one by one so we have numbers 3 and 5 right 3 and 5 they are numbers so we cannot replace other numbers in the place of 3 and 5 they are fixed they are fixed number so if they are fixed we are calling it as constant okay understood so here first we have an equation that is 3x plus 5 is equal to 20 why we are calling it as equation we have equal symbol that means we have lhs and rhs separately so here we have two numbers that is 3 and 5 so these are constant because we cannot replace other numbers in the place of 3 and 5 okay but if you observe the other alphabet that is x in the place of x you can give any value okay you can give any value so x takes many values here so here it is not constant it is not fixed so that type of here generally the alphabets are called as variables so if we consider a number and the alphabet numbers are called as constant alphabets are called as variables because we can give any value to that variable and the combination of constant and variable here 3 is constant x is variable the combination of constant and variable is called as term is called as term and the combination of again again the combination of constant and variables with addition or subtraction it may be addition or subtraction here we took addition so if we combine them with addition we are calling it as expression algebraic expression okay then here if you observe in the place of x x before that x we have constant it is also called as coefficient also okay all together we are calling it as equation now in the heading what we have pair of linear equation in two variables now we got the definition for equation right so equation consists of constant variable the combination of constant and variable with product or multiplication we call it as term and when two terms are combined with addition or subtraction we are calling it as expression and the number which is multiplied to the variable we are calling it as coefficient all together we are calling it as equation now we have got an idea about equation let's move on to the next here simple example let us take one simple example to know about linear equation now we got an idea about equation now let us understand what is linear equation okay so here we have one example cost of three pence cost of three pence is 36 now i am going to the stationery shop and i am buying three pence now three pence i am i am giving amount of 36 rupees now what is the cost of one pen for that we here we have to take one variable the cost of one pen be x Okay, you can take any X, Y, S, T, you have many alphabets, right? You can take anything. So now cost of one pen is X. Okay, so now how many pens? Three pens. So you can take it as 3X. So 3X is equal to 36. 
so if you divide this 36 by 3 so totally you got 12 rupees now for, for cost of one pen you you got 12 rupees so here you have one expression what is that expression 3x is equal to 36 so here we are equating so it is called as equation and observe the power of the variable which is a variable here x is the variable what is the power of that variable it is 1 so now if the power or we can call it as degree so if the power or degree of the variable is 1 then it is called as linear equation linear equation now we got an idea about equation and now in this we got an idea about linear equation that means if you are considering a x the power of for example if i consider 3x square in the place like this if the equation like this 3x square is equal to 36 this is not a linear equation because the power is 2 here okay if the power is 2 we call it as quadratic if power is 3 we are calling it as cubic but here if the power is 1 then it is linear equation so this is linear equation now we got equation linear equation let's move on to the next now what is basic it is pair of linear equation okay so now let us understand the definition now let us understand which is in your textbook so linear equation in two variable so let us consider this linear equation in two variables now till now you had only one variable that is x but here we are considering two variables for example if you go to the stationery shop you will buy three pens and three pencils okay three pens and three pencils so at that time you will take cost of pen is x cost of pencil is y right in the same case here we are taking two variables so that is so what is what will be the definition for this so and here definitions are not important in this so all three are just to know about the concept it is important but you no need to practice the definitions only learn how to solve the linear equation using different methods okay so now an equation is in the form of how it will be the linear equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 so here we are equating to 0 so it is called as equation okay here the power of x and power of y is 1 so it is linear and we have two variables one is x another one is y so it is called as two variables so linear equation in two variable so now where what we call where a b c are real numbers where a b c are real numbers real means remember it can be integers it can be whole numbers it can be rational numbers it can be irrational numbers or it can be natural numbers also okay so here a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 so where a b c are real numbers and a and b are not both 0 here should a and if a and b become 0 and remember this is very important condition a is not equal to 0 b is not equal to 0 at the time what happens if we consider a and b 0 it is a product so x and y become 0 so at that time it cannot be a linear equation because you don't have any variable power 1 so it is not a linear equation so now here what is the condition the general the equation is in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where a b c are real numbers and a and b are not equal to 0 okay are called linear equation in two variables x and y okay then pair of linear equation here we have to consider pair what do you mean by pair two right pair means two so which are those two equations so here the general form this may may ask write the general form of pair of linear equation in two variables which are those general form a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to zero a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to zero a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 so these are the two general form of means a pair of linear equation in two variables so again i am repeating a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 
a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 is equal to 0 where a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 are all are real numbers and remember all a1 b1 a2 b2 are not equal to 0 or generally you can consider a1 square plus b1 square is not equal to 0 or a2 square plus b2 square is not equal to 0 and using this means solving these equation linear equation we will get the points right x and y points so we have had we are learnt in 9th standard so here here if we solve those points so those points we will get the graphical representation so if you represent graphical representation we will get a straight line remember always if you solve the linear equation if you plot the points of linear equation in a graph definitely the points if you join all those points definitely it will be a straight line okay so now if we consider only one linear equation you will get one straight line okay but here we are considering pair of linear equation pair means two linear equation so we have two straight line in a single graph two how many straight lines two straight lines in your class 9th you draw only the straight line only single straight line but now you are solving two linear equation of two variables and if you plot that you will get two straight lines and here we have a relation means if you plot a straight line they may they have we have possibilities three possibilities what are those three possibilities if we observe observe here we have three possibilities number one if you draw two straight line the one can be they intersect each other this is the first case that means if you draw two straight line using by solving two linear equation the two straight line may intersect each other intersect means they will intersect at one point if they intersect at one point how many solution you have only one solution only one solution or what is the second case so two lines may be parallel means they won't meet each other at all they won't meet so at that time you can write no solution you don't have any solution if they are parallel if they intersect say they intersect at only one point so you can write it as one solution or you can write it as unique solution unique means one okay then sometimes the both linear equation they have same values at the time they'll they will plot one above the other the same point so they coincide each other they oh they may points are common points so they have many solution infinitely many solutions so if we draw if you draw a cell plot if you plot a graph for linear equation it is always a straight line but here we are considering two pair of two right pair means two so two straight line that so have three possibilities number one they intersect each other they means they intersect at one point so we have one solution if they don't intersect at all means if two lines are parallel we don't have any solution for that in that case or if they are one above the other or if they coincide each other we have infinitely many solution so this is about this is a brief introduction about pair of linear equation in two variables now we are moving on to the exercise question so let us understand the verbal questions and we let us represent them algebraically and graphically and let us know how the lines are whether they intersect whether they are parallel or whether they coincident okay i think this is very clear to you about brief introduction so practice them well and know the general form of linear equation so if you like this video do subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you